Hello everyone, another episode, this is Starlog Photo Guidebook, Science Fiction Toys and Models, Volume 1, it says there. So here we go, how old is this magazine? It's ancient. How's that for an answer? Here we go. This came out in 1980, folks. Was anybody anybody watching this ever even alive? I was. I was born in 1974. I was alive and kicking. Young. How cool are these toys? I thought I'd share this. I love toys. And I'm going to do toy reviews on this uh, YouTube channel. And I thought, I have this. And I like to look through once in a while. I'm like, you know what? Why not share this? That's what life's all about is sharing. Having conversation. With a beer. And a chicken wing. Maybe you don't have to have the beer and chicken wing. But uh, I, I added that. But you know what I mean. Alright. I guess you can pause this anytime. Right now we're in the Buck Rogers. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. I'll admit that. If you hear any beeping or weird things, that's my phone. I'm expecting... Just ignore it. Just ignore it. That is the coolest thing. I mean, these are old toys, folks. You know, I think these are Migos. You can look that up if you want. It's a company that's still around to this day, actually. They still make cool, cool toys. So. Love it. That's Robbie the Robot. Here we go. Space 1999. I, I think I said this before. I really love the first season. There's me. This is just a Jamieism right here. Star Trek, folks. Love it. You'll see some cool stuff. I had all this stuff as a kid. That's why I like going through and looking at it, because I don't have it anymore. But look, this is a Buck Rogers. A, a, a battle, Buck Rogers, oh my lord. I love Buck Rogers, too. But this is Battlestar Galactica. I had Buck Rogers as well. Actually, I met Buck Rogers himself. I'll, if I find a picture, I'll throw it up right now. If you don't see it, that means I couldn't find it. But if you hopefully you saw it, oh yeah, I met Gilgard himself, Buck Rogers. Anywho, here we go. Getting into Star Wars. See, people forget this, but uh, when the first movie came out, the toys were a huge hit, and they ran out. They couldn't even get people the toys, so they had people had to have uh, coupons, I guess you call whatever you call those things. You know, rain checks, I guess what would just call it. Now, then, but by, by 1980, they knew exactly what they were doing. As Kenner from Cincinnati, really right near where I live, actually. Wasn't that funny? As I grew, as I got older, I realized. My, where my Star Wars toys came from was literally near where I lived. How weird. But anyway, look how beautiful this is. We had them all, my brother and I. Hours and hours of enjoyment. Uh, some of the stuff I don't know about. Maybe you guys will. You can tell me in the comments. Like this Disney kits. The science fiction models and stuff. I don't know anything about that stuff. But like, So you can pause anytime you want. I'm going to go through a little bit. Not too fast. I don't want to cause chaos, but Mattel sends up its own astronaut. Made in Japan, the gold age of space toys. You might be watching this right now going, oh, I had that, I had that. That's what I do. I do the same thing. So, but you have to remember, if you're, if you're, if you're a, a young fella, this is, this magazine came out in 1980, so you're, you're not going to get uh, He-Man you know, I grew up with He-Man and uh, Thundercats and uh, G.I. You know what I mean? This is uh, before that. This is an old, old magazine. It's for the, you know, the 70s folks. Or, uh, it's, I lie, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. I should just say 70s. So, but I love looking at them. I think they're the coolest thing. I'm sure my maybe my dad's watching this right now. And uh, he's looking at it. He's, like, he's probably saying I had this or had that. He probably is. He'll probably text me right now. Who knows? But like I said, pause this anytime. If you want to look at it longer. But I'm going to try, try to get through quickly. Not too quickly. But quickly enough. These are cool though. I mean, you have to remember that during this era, everything was made out of metal. I mean, these things, that's why they're still around. They, they, you know, the paint's chipped off. I go to these toy, sh toy conventions and stuff. And, uh... They're still around because they're again made of metal. They, you know, maybe a dent here or there, or the, the, the paint came off. Yeah, this is like I'll point to it. This is all metal. 
So maybe the paint came off or something, you know, but or chipped. But it still looks good. I love seeing them. Here we go. Isn't that the coolest thing? That is so well, I came out in the, I think the 70s. I could be wrong. Someone in the comments can tell me that. But that's yeah. This is the back cover, so that's why I, pa I paused a little bit long. It's the end. But yeah. There's some cool stuff. I love it. Again, I need you know, buy a stick. Don't forget about it. Kenner came up with a great way of doing this. Because, you know, the figures didn't work. You couldn't really bend them around too much. So you just stuck them in it. It looks like he's riding on a saddle, but he really isn't, you know. But what a clever way of handling that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and like, of course, because that way you'll let me know to do more. I really appreciate it, too. Uh, and do me a favor. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time, okay? Bye-bye.